Hello and welcome to STEM with Mr N's Robot Review in partnership with RoboCube, your destination for everything STEM. This week I'm going to be introducing you to Dash. Let's check it out. Before I begin, I just want to say a huge thank you to RoboCube for sending me Dash for this video. RoboCube were very early supporters of the channel and most of the robots I have featured so far can be purchased directly from them, so go and check them out at robocube.co.uk. This week I'm going to be looking at Dash by Wonder Workshop. Now Dash is a fun and interactive robot that is ready to play straight out of the box. When you open it up, there is a starter guide which says you should download the Wonder and the Blockly apps. I'm going to start off by looking at the Wonder app. You'll need to start by pushing the white power button located on the side of Dash. I'm then going to open up my Wonder app and my app is automatically connected to Dash via Bluetooth because they have been connected before. If yours has not been connected before, there is an orange button in the top right hand corner with a white plus in it. And if you tap on that, the app is then going to search for a nearby dash so the two things can be paired up. When you first open up the Wonder app, it opens up into a series of challenges for you to complete before you can do anything else. I'd already started doing some of the challenges to unlock some of the other features in this app, so I'm going to go into these challenges to give you an idea of what it's like. You'll see that this is providing an opportunity to put together algorithms without using any sort of coding. You are being talked through what you need to do for each thing and it is simple steps to build up a sequence of events. You'll notice this is all done through dragging icons up and linking them together. So children get the idea of putting a sequence together before they are introduced to any coding. In these first three challenges, I've just been tasked with getting Dash to say hi, then getting it to celebrate, and then getting it to drive forward and stop. Once you complete the first three challenges, you'll see it comes up saying that free play has been unlocked. When I go back to the main screen of the Wonder app now, you'll see that I now have access to a controller and that free play option. I'm going to go into free play first to show you what it's like. When I open up Freeplay, you'll see I have two options. One is Create New and the other is Enter a Key. Enter a Key is if a friend has created a bit of coding that they want to share with you, that they would get a password for you to type in. I don't have anything set up like that, so I'm going to click on Create New. You'll see this opens up a page just like the challenges that we were looking at, and along the bottom there is a series of menus. These menus are Light, Sound, Animation, Move, Special and Accessory. Free play gives children the opportunity to be creative with their own algorithms. It's using the same icons that we just saw in the challenges, but now there is no guide as to how to put them together. Children can put these together in any combinations that they want. Just for an example, I'm going to drag up some icons into a sequence to show you how this works in free play. So from light, I'm going to drag up the red option and attach that onto dash. Then in sound, I'm going to drag up the option Brave and select the sound charge number 2 and I'm going to attach my red light onto that. And onto the end there from Move, I'm going to add in a Move Backwards and attach that on. So now I have Dash, Red Light, Sound Charge number 2 and Move Backwards. And when I hit the play button down in the bottom right hand corner, you'll see Dash will follow this sequence. Now there are lots of different symbols there and it could be easy to get confused. So if I go back to the main screen, you'll see there is an option there called Inventor's Log. 
When you tap in there, this is a guide to what all of these different symbols mean and when you tap on them, it brings up a wee bit of information telling you what these symbols do when you're using them in that free play or when you're using them in the challenges. This is a really great way for children to be just left to explore. The information is there for them to read or they can go into free play and drag things up and just find out what things do. Dash is really about exploring through play. Another thing which allows children to explore Dash through play is the controller from that main menu. So I'm going to click in there and let's see what's included in it. You'll notice over to the left hand side there is a colour bar and if I drag that down and up I'm able to change the colour of the lights on Dash. Just above that there are four different circles there with images of Dash and these play different sounds. On the right hand side there is a big circle and if I move my thumb inside there I'm able to control how Dash moves its head up, down, left and right to have Dash looking around. To the left of that where there's another big circle this is a joystick controller so Dash is able to drive forwards, backwards, left, right and you can just explore moving Dash around on different terrain. Right now I'm driving Dash on a hardwood floor but you can drive Dash on anything and it will recognise what kind of surface it's on, whether it's on a smooth hard surface or whether it's driving on carpet. When children are using the Wonder app with Dash you could give them their own challenges to complete and have them problem solve different algorithms to meet the challenge that you have set for them. Or you could do things like set out a maze or a slalom course that you need to get them to drive round again either using those algorithms or using the controller and having to work out the best ways to use Dash. You could also use the controller to work with compass directions, telling pupils that they need to drive north, south, north, east, south, west, wherever you want and have them controlling Dash and moving around to fit with these compass directions. There are lots of other ways that you could get creative with Dash and these are just a few suggestions to get you started. Well that's all for this week, I hope you enjoyed it. Once again a huge thank you to Robocube for supporting this robot review video. Go and check them out at robocube.co.uk As always I would like to take this opportunity to answer any science questions you have about any science topics at all. So feel free to email me at stemwithmrn at outlook.com and I'll get back to you with answers to your questions. You can subscribe to the channel by pushing the button here and I've added links here to my other robot review videos here to my STEM experiment and explanation videos and here to my STEM career interviews. This has been STEM with Mr N, introducing you to Dash.